Hands up, hands up, what you gonna do now? Back in, back out, Marcus Corner now. Run in, run in, gonna run down the street. Yeah, roll and roll and roll and roll. Huh, keep roll and roll and roll and roll. Huh, keep roll and roll and roll and roll. Huh, yeah, welcome to Marcus's Corner episode four. Guess what, nerds? Tough break. No video game guest this week. I gotta pick the guest, and it's a YouTube god like myself. He has a video called Men Are Better Than Women. I agree with everything he has to say. Hopefully you do too. Take it away. Yo, how's it going? My name is Marcus, and this is my corner. A couple months ago, I stumbled on a video on YouTube called MenAreBetterThanWomen.com. Now, I'm sitting with the man, the myth, the legend, the hero, Dick Masterson. How's it going, Dick? Pretty good, Marcus. Yeah. What is your favorite chapter in the book? Oh, my favorite chapter in the book, I think, is um, marriage. There's That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, there is absolutely no reason for a man uh, or a puppet like yourself to get married, ever. There's no incentive. Uh, and, and, and if you think it'll make life easier, you're, you're wrong. Talk to any married guy, and uh, half of them will tell you it's the biggest mistake they ever made. Half of them will be lying. You, you should talk to my girlfriend, because this is f***ing it. I've been trying to say this stuff, it's not coming out right. Another one of my favorite chapters is how to get a prenup signed. Because okay. no matter how much I say don't get married, guys are still going to do it. They think they know everything. You should have given that to Paul McCartney. That guy got fucked. <laughs> now, I've been, as I said before, men are better than women on YouTube. Check it out. He's on Dr. Phil. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I'm just going to say to you, she heard it. Oh, yeah. I was just wanting to know, is there anything else that they edited out, or is that just it? Was she just... Shocked and appalled and sat down like a fat bitch. Yeah, no, that, that was the end of that one. But they did edit out uh, the woman who thought men like me were the reason we're in Iraq. Huh. Which uh, she couldn't properly explain after that. Uh, they edited out a woman who was crying and said that I made her sick. She was crying? Was, she was crying while she delivered that gym. What a weak uh, bitch. Why do you think women cry so much? To get attention. Well, that's why women shouldn't be in the workplace. They yeah. break down all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, we have coffee breaks, not f***ing crime, put on my tampon breaks, right? <laughs> You're right, you are, Mark. That's right. A penny saved is a woman fired. That is the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm going to list off a job that's appropriate for women, and I want you to do the same after that, okay? Okay. What women are good for. Okay. Tampon tester. Uh, having kids. Um... Oh, shit. Stripper. Okay, that works. Yeah. Someone's gotta do it. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's it. So, ladies, that's what you can look forward to. Tampon tester, stripper, the other one. Oh, you know, I think we could hang out. I think we could, we could shoot the shit, if part, part of my French, but I'm just saying, I think, I think we're, we're in a good place right now, me yeah. and you. Okay. Well, okay. one of us doesn't have a hand up our ass, so. Okay. Well, that's probably the end of the interview, but I just wanted to thank Dick Masterson for coming down. But not only that, just for being who he is. For saying what we're all thinking, and for doing what we're afraid to do. He really is a man among men. He is my king. You're king. Unless you're a woman. Then, then he's your emperor. <laughs> Dick Masterson. Thanks a lot, Dick. Heck, thank you, Marcus. Hi. Love him. Okay, first email is from George C. It says, Dear Marcus, I really hate my job and I'm planning to quit soon. What would be the best way to quit? Your Mexican amigo, George. Alright, George, here's what you do. After you wake up from your siesta, go into work. Go ask your boss if you can have a conversation with him. Say politely, peace the f out. Take a picture of his face and then send it into the corner. I say that's a job well quit. Okay, we got time for one more email. It says, Hey Marcus, take off your shirt and let us see those sexy muscles. Digging you wrong. Boom! Okay, fan art time. The first picture is some art. Wow, art, what a great piece of art. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Next, next fan art is from Maxim W. Here it is. What? What? What the fuck? What happened to my arm, Maxim? God, you have some issues. <laughs> That's two. What? 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 Oh. Uh, naked girl time! Ding, 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 ding. It's from a girl named Erica. Let's check it out. Wow, Erica, you got a nice body. The only problem is the ears. I assume you have a lot of wax in them because you're not naked, Erica. Let me say this again. Naked pictures! I don't want any PG-13 made sh**. God, dude, stupid. Okay, well that's probably gonna do it for this week's Marcus's Corner. Do me a favor though and buy Dick Masterson's book, Men Are Better Than Women. Hook my brother up. Okay, email me. Some more pictures at marcusomega64.com. Fan art emails, you know the drill. But now that people are getting their shirts, email me you wearing your shirt if you're a girl. I want to see girls wearing me. Okay, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Up, up, better way. Whoosh. Buy my shirt. I need $5 for my truck.